everybody who's watching good evening from London and for me actually it's almost a good night because I'm about to go to sleep but I promise myself anytime I feel like I still have a little bit of energy and some creative inspiration hits me to make a video for you because I have such a busy lifestyle I'm running around all the time I travel from train to train from plane to plane so it's really really difficult to maintain my lifestyle and some sort of continuity um, so I was about to go to sleep and I didn't feel super sleepy so I thought there we go I'm making a video and I thought perfect to make a video exactly on the topic this is gonna be a video for those who always have excuses about how they're so busy hence why they can't maintain a healthy diet now when you hear a word diet don't think about not eating that's not what I mean um, diet for me is is not being on a specific diet diet for me means just maintaining healthy lifestyle really making sure that you fuel your body with nutrients and you fuel your body with energy foods as uh, something that would be good for your skin and your future life and uh, when you grow older and not necessarily losing weight does that make any sense but if you actually eat the foods that are clean and actually good for your skin and you know looks after you for the future you will naturally lose weight anyway if there's something to lose do you know what i mean so anywho anywho a lot of people say that they cannot maintain a healthy diet because they're constantly busy and constantly on a go now there are a lot of busy people I am very very busy so my point is if I can maintain it so can you if you don't want to maintain it or you can't be bothered that's absolutely fine I go through time to time you know where I'm just like to be honest I just don't want to and if you don't want to you don't want to we all out look we need to listen to our bodies right sometimes you just you need to do what you need to do but then don't say I don't have time just say I don't want to but if you want to this video is for you and I will give you some of the tips that I do to maintain my healthy lifestyle or even more specifically healthy diet hopefully that's gonna be useful for you and if you just needed some inspiration this will be perfect if you need a motivation here I am but if if you don't just <laughs> watch some other of my videos and subscribe anyway whether you want to watch it or not support me <laughs> So here we go, tip number one. You've heard this million times before, I'm sure. Prepare as much as you can, okay? <clears throat> now, what do I mean by prepare as much as you can? Prep food, basically. I am not as good prepping food as other people, but I do try to do it as much as possible. Now, why I say I'm not as good as prepping food as some other people? Because for me, to find time and make portions and dishes for the week to come is also difficult because I still need to find time to make those dishes. So then at some point I give up anyway because I still need to make time. Do you know what I mean? So I'm not, even though I might be gaining time, it, it I find it exhausting, yes, to find time, to, to gain a little bit of time, I'm like, well, but what do I do actually? I prep very basic, so I might not actually cook a, a very good meal, but I will still prep something that is very nutritious, but very quick to make. For example, boiled eggs, avocado, tomato, tuna any salad rip all of these things is nothing that you need to worry about and it's amazing because there's not going to be any frying 
So again, it's gonna be more healthy. It has proteins. It you know, it, it requires no particular cooking, um, and it's super duper healthy. And you can quickly stuff it in a container and go. So this is what I would do. Now I know some of you might want to have more delicious foods, so you would probably maybe cook something and 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 prep it. If you can do that, that would be amazing because you can always take something from the fridge with you and go and not worry about having food somewhere when you're running around. Um, but as I say, if you are quite basic like me and would be happy just to have like boiled eggs, avocados, tuna and salad, really, then you're perfectly fine to prep. You have the content. I also, sometimes, when I have my cheating days, <laughs> I, I save the containers from the takeaways. And then, uh, come on, we all have cheating days. So, and then I use those containers for my food to go, like the avocados, like the tuna salads and stuff. And then I take those containers with me and then I can throw them away because I also hate carrying containers. Can't stand it. Um, I'm always flying somewhere and the fact that I'm flying with a container, it just, it, it, it kills my soul. So I always have like plasticky, really cheap container. I know plastic is not good, but I don't buy the plastic. I get it to take away. Oh, it sounds so wrong. I need to throw something away. I mean, if you need to wrap into whatever, as long as you're throwing it away, because if you're flying, it's, it's illogical. You can't take anything with you that you wouldn't be able to throw away. You can't be carrying containers and weight with you. Does that make any sense? But the idea overall is, to make sure you prep some food if you can that's my tip number one prep as much as you as much as you can if you need to prep more adventurous food you will have to invest a little bit more time if you're happy like me with some basic stuff it will be so quick you won't even notice but prep the food take it with you and that is my tip number one Okay, guys, I actually feel a little bit bad now about the whole plastic container situation. Um, but to be honest, I just don't know any better way. So if you actually know any kind of way that I could prep and take my food with me and then throw away whatever the container is that I'm putting my food in, please comment below. I, I'm so self-conscious about the environment and you know, I, I don't want to be doing things that would cause global warming. <laughs> so if you know any better way where I could, or like any sort of containers that could be, um, I don't know, it, it wouldn't be plastic, but I could use them to take my food with, please comment below. If you know any better way I could carry my food and not one of those glass ones, because I actually want to throw it away. Does that make sense? Leave a comment below if, if you know any other way. Anyway, back to the tip number two. My tip is this. If you are on a go and there's no healthy options around you, don't eat. Wait until you can find a healthy option. Now, I promise you, you're not going to starve uh, and die because it's not like you're gonna be traveling for five days with no food at all, no healthy options. It's probably this one day you are hungry, there was nothing around while you were hungry, and you were like, well, there was no healthy options. Then don't eat, really. Intermittent fasting is known all, of, all over the world, yes? It's so popular and it's basically based on, on not eating for a long period of time. Consider it that your long period of time. Just make sure you drink a lot of water and just wait. And if you feel subconscious and you're with, you know, a group of friends or colleagues and they're all eating burgers and pizzas, whatever, around, and you feel that they are looking at you a little bit strange and that, oh, look at her, so precious and not eating just because there's no healthy option, well, that's on them. If you want to maintain your body, you want to maintain your health, um, you have a goal, 
uh, that you want to achieve forget about those people who look at you like this just because you have some sort of standards right just relax there's no healthy option don't eat make sure you drink a lot of water now if you're about to go training and there was no healthy option it's slightly different because you can't really train when you haven't eaten anything at all it's a little bit ridiculous so you might eat whatever it's not advisable to eat whatever but at least you know you're going to be going training so you'll be burning some sort of calories but if you're not training at all and then you just eat junk food well you know what's gonna happen then so I say if there's no healthy option and you didn't manage to prep don't eat and wait until you're gonna be in a situation where you can actually have a healthy option that's my tip number two my tip number three always have something in your bag or in the pocket depends whether you're carrying bags or not but um, for example nuts um, protein bars make sure you read what's in that protein bar I'm just saying and not every protein bar is a good idea and uh, apples for example is perfect foods to carry nuts don't go to waste yes they could be in your bag forever and anytime you feel like the point is coming where you're becoming hungry and hangry when you're getting like angry because you're hungry nibble on those nuts to kill that anger and to be able to wait for the healthy option or like uh, protein bars that are fairly good you need to do your research on those if you want me to do a research for you on the protein bars leave a comment below and I'll do that because I'm I'm very very aware of what goes inside into those protein bars but some of them are really really good and apples apples why because it's, it's water based um, it fills you up um, but also because it's easy to put in a bag and an apple doesn't go mushy you know you have to really like batter that apple for it to be uneatable like if you carry a banana and you put something heavy in your bag you can still squash it <laughs> It happened to me before it was a disaster but apple is there you know and, and basically it's hard and, and it's, it's hard to damage an apple so basically my tip number three have some snacks with you that are actually healthy good for your body and you wouldn't squash them and they wouldn't get like out of date and then you just like why why but also it will kill that 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 first um, hunger until you can actually have a proper, ha proper healthy meal. Very good idea. Tip number four, fluids. All right, when you're on your go, you're running around, you're flying or taking a, <laughs> taking a plane. <laughs> Don't take a plane, okay? Take a train instead and fly on a plane oh my english anyway when you are rushing and you're traveling you gotta drink a lot of liquids and make sure those liquids are water or green tea green tea is amazing for you it's antioxidant it's fantastic for your skin uh, try not to drink too much green tea before going to sleep but through the day it works very very well and you can basically exclude some cups of coffee like I'm a coffee addict in a sense in the morning if I don't get my coffee I, I get a bit like that right so I need my coffee but I have one cup of coffee or in very desperate moments two cups of coffee a day so to compensate uh, my urge for coffee I drink a lot of green tea um, there's many different kinds and actually slightly different flavors without added sugars and um, really delicious you actually can pick and choose which ones you like and i have a friend actually who gets sick by drinking green tea and she tried a few of mine and she didn't and she was like i wonder why so i wonder why i think there might be just different kinds of leaves maybe i don't know i can do the research for that as well if you like 
but water and green tea is the best thing for you not only it kills hunger because you're filling your body with liquids but also it keeps you hydrated so when you're traveling you know you go on a plane and then you land and you feel like your face is all dry you know it's, it's, it's something about it but if you keep on drinking water keep on drinking green tea it's actually really good for your skin kills the hunger gives you antioxidants the green tea and it's overall fantastic for the diet so whenever you you can and you remember get a cup of tea or just carry with yourself some water or this now a lot of times even in the airports they have like refilling uh, the water fountains you can refill your own bottle you know so yeah no excuse keep on drinking that water you will see such a big difference you will not feel as hungry all the time and also it will just re rejuvenate 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 your body so lots of liquids that's my tip number four for you final tip tip number five on how to maintain your healthy diet while rushing through life is is kind of like my, my my cheating tip um so sometimes it is what it is uh, you might not be mentally prepared to whether not eat at that moment and wait for the healthy option. You might just be really tired and really need some fuel. Um, so you can always go around and make the best option out of the worst option. Here's what I mean. If you are having a burger, why not take the bun out of the burger and um, make sure you don't eat any deep fried food so no fries and no sauces so you can still have the burger meat you can still have the salads like tomatoes and normal salads and gherkins and pickles yeah because it's only few um, and and eat the burger meat right if you are for example i don't know gonna eat pizza at least make sure not to put any sauce on top no mayonnaise no um, ketchup sauces are the killer for your skin and, and gaining weight sauces are bad and of course bread is not good so that's why in a burger you can at least take the bread out which in pizza you can't so there's many different things that you can do like that like if you're gonna go and to a pasta place try to to get you know as healthy version to that so basically at least try to do your best when you're going into a place where you know that food is not the best at least try to find how to minimize the damage so that's my tip number five minimize the damage there you have it those are my top five tips those are the things that i do all the time and i'm consciously aware Part of it because I am a dancer, part of it is because that's how I was raised. Um, I, I care about my body and I care about how I feel, I care about how I look. So um, yeah, I, I do these things all the time. I cheat as well, I have loads of cheating days and I get tired and I go down the slump, but that's normal. But I do try to have a very good balance in my life. Um, but also remember that it, it's really not about whether you should do it it's more about if you find yourself in a place in life where you would like to lead a healthier lifestyle you just find it hard to maintain between your busy lifestyle and you know doing healthy things like eating healthy these are just the tips to help you out and and maybe spark some ideas and maybe you're gonna tweak them a little bit you know what i would really like to know if you have some other things that you think are good for a busy person to maintain a healthy diet yes so if you know some other things that you can do to maintain a healthy diet while constantly rushing through life comment below that would be amazing i would read and maybe i would discover something new that would actually be healthy for me too and other people can read it and benefit Anyway, I'm gonna leave you now because as I said before, it's my bedtime. 
So I am very grateful for you one more time for sticking with me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I promise I will deliver as many videos as possible. And of course, if you ring a bell, you get notified. And that's cool because sometimes when we're busy, we might forget that there are some videos that will help us through the day. So ring that bell somewhere there. <laughs> somewhere there, there's a bell. You ring it and you get notified. Guys, I go to sleep and remember, healthy diet, healthy body, healthy mind. Bye.